Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So I'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we did rally in the beginning of the session, and then we gave most of the, basically all of those gains back, and now we're basically in red. So we're at the minus 0 0.35 at this point and it is very likely that we are going to see this currency pair to go lower at this point the reason for that is because all of these technical indicators are technically turning around so the stochastic is still very bearish macd is bearish the uh, rsi is bearish and so is the cci we're holding on to the 20 exponential right here but we actually have crossed it and are trading underneath the 20 exponential so we could go all the way down towards uh the 40 exponential at 13.83 and then towards 50. So this will take some time before the stochastic, for example, turns around. And therefore, we may not see a rally in this currency pair for the next few days. So, yes, but the 20 exponential, 40 and 50 have been major support. So buying it at these levels here, that should offer a fair amount of support and of course, a stop loss underneath. So let's look at the US dollar and the Japanese yen. We have rallied up towards the top of this channel. And at this point, it is uh, likely that we are going to pull back towards the bottom of the channel and then continue higher. The 300 moving average will offer quite a lot of um, support. And so will the 20 exponential that is moving this way. And so at this point, if we go down from here, we'll probably run into resistance just above the 300 moving average. However, we are creating a new channel here for the uh, US dollar and Japanese yen. We were basically trending downwards for a very, very long time. And now it looks like we are just creating lower highs and we are trending in a positive direction for this currency repair. However, we're getting way, way, way overstretched. We're way outside here at the bullish band. Uh, the RSI is overbought. However, other technical indicators, they are still very bullish. So, yes, at this point, it's not a good idea to buy it here. Pullbacks are what you should be looking for for this currency pair. So, let's look at the euro US dollar. And as you can see, this has also fallen. But the 250 moving average around uh, 1198, that is going to offer quite a lot of support we're at the bottom here at the bullish band so this could also be as far as this goes technical indicators they are still very bearish so until the stochastic basically turns around macd rsi cci there is just technically weight in order to put in order to buy into this uh, we are trending sideways we have done that for quite a long time now the bottom here is at 150 top is roughly around 1217 so you so Aussie dollar US dollar US dollar so we did fall quite dras drastically in uh, yeah last week's session on Wednesday and also on Thursday and then we rallied on Friday and now we continue that rally but we are having trouble problems getting through the 20 exponential moving average Technical indicators are still very bearish. MACD, Stochastic, uh, CCI, they're all bearish. We are running into the middle here at the Bollinger Band. If that breaks, then we can go to the highs. But I would not be surprised if we stayed around here for some time until basically the Stochastic turns around here and also the MACD. Otherwise, we have the 100 moving average right underneath here and it will be I would be very surprised if we went all the way down to the 100 moving average. So... It is also where we found these previous lows over here, but the drop towards 100, that just seems quite uh, quite far at this point. We could fall towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band, but um, it's more likely that we'll rally from here. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. This has turned around and now it's most likely we're going to head towards these previous lows. So major support is 12 and um, um, 46 
Uh, we are trading at 12.65 at this current stage, so uh, roughly a move of 1.37% to the downside. That is uh, that is most likely where we're going at this point. So we are moving. Uh, technical indicators are turning around and so becoming bearish. So momentum has basically stopped here, and we found major resistance here, and now we're heading back to the bottom. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.